Hey, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're doing a video on Undecember. Uh, so there's a major, major update that's about to go live. Uh, we're we're actually waiting uh, for the server to come back up as we speak. Um, now, if you've been watching or keeping up with my live streams, uh, you may have noticed I made uh, two additional alts um, to um, anticipate if there is a change with the guild shop. Uh, if there is a change in the guild shop, it's going to be beneficial to have multiple alts. Um, and I'll explain that real quick. So you want to have your main, which is going to be your highest grade uh, in your guild. That Grade is like your donation level towards the guild. So obviously your main will be your highest um, if you've been donating since you started. And um, then your second alt will be your second highest, and your third alt will be your third. So the way I'm going to do it is my main obviously is going to buy the big token items if it's released. Now, it's not in the patch notes anywhere. I, don't, I do not see anywhere where you do um get the guaranteed awakening stone uh the rune engraving stone now i don't see that in the patch notes so i don't i don't think they're gonna add it but if in case they do i want to have my account set up and ready to be able to buy um that big item which is anywhere from like 35k to 50k uh, i think on the korean it's 50k um uh you know like guild seals <coughs> which is a lot most people in my guild have like 10 uh anyway so my main is going to be buying the big item uh, i'm not sure what the cooldown on buying that item will be maybe it's a week maybe it's a monthly item we don't know yet uh and who knows maybe they won't even add it into the shop yet right maybe we'll just have to do chaos dungeons and get lucky so i don't know but that's why I have the alts in place. So my main alt or my main is gonna buy the big token item, the big engraving item, which is like 35, 50k, like I said. Uh, my second alt, uh, he's gonna be in charge of buying the weeklies, and then my third alt, he's gonna be buying dailies and random, you know, whatever, whatever, pretty much like the accessory chests, etc. So that's uh that's one of the uses I'm I'm doing with the alts. Uh, the biggest use for my alt is doing Spire every day and getting that extra 300 some thousand gold as well as the 2,000 gemstones. Um, we convert those gemstones into uh, birth and then do links. We spam those for links and then make candors, etc., whatever. Um, so, yeah, that's what I use those for. Um, so, yeah, so today's update, dude, first of all, they're already giving us descent raids on NA which is huge so we just killed the lightning boss this week um, and now we get new raids again today so that's gonna be cool um, obviously you enter the descent raid the same way you enter the other raids uh, it's gonna be level 80 which is okay I think it should be 90 but yeah uh, eight players it's just a special raid it's pretty essentially uh a harder variant of the raids that we already have right i haven't watched these in korea or anything so i'm not too familiar with them um i might look them up like shadow mirror completion i think that's like an additional boss or something because it says collect shadow mirror uh, shadow mirror shards to complete shadow mirror receive wards upon uh clearing the scent raid uh now it says you can com complete the boss without doing Shadowmere, but you won't be able to s receive the clear reward. Uh, down here is the rewards. So like, this is for damage reward. This is just killing the boss, I, I assume. Um, without doing the mirror, I assume. Uh, and you get some okay, I, decent kind of stuff. Honestly, they should. It should be a little bit more ore, in my opinion. You should get. I don't know, maybe like. 15 30 60 90 because like you need a lot of this ore so i mean i don't know anyways and this page over here is for if you do the shadow mirror um i don't know what the shadow mirror is so we'll f we'll figure that out together i haven't looked at really any of the korean stuff uh for these raids or anything um I i'm 
I like to learn the stuff as it comes to us, and you know, we learn it firsthand. I don't like taking it uh, from the Koreans. So, I do get some information from the Koreans. Like, we, we don't understand something, etc. Then I'll ask them to explain it, like the candor uh, essence and uh, the revitalization essence. Like, I had a Korean guy explain that to me, so I could explain it better to you guys. <coughs> So yeah, we're getting the descent raids. That's gonna be huge. Um, the other huge thing that you guys might not think is that big, but it's actually a really big deal, uh, is the rune stones. Um, the ones that give like your 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 skill plus one or critical damage, etc. It depends on which ones you have. Um, you'll be able to obtain an essence that changes the slot position. So like, uh, if you're on your skill page, um. And you have a runestone that's on like the edge of the skill page, you know, or just in a bad place. You can move it, um, and I believe it's by chance, so it's RNG. But you can move it and try to get it to a better position where you can fit it into your build. So that's really cool because I have a few that are really good runestones. They're just on the edge of my board, so I really, you know, really looking forward to this so I can change those um that's pretty cool now uh yeah okay obviously they can change the game at any point uh uh yeah so this is the big one that everybody's been anticipating and or waiting for or speaking about etc uh the rune engraving slash awakening um what this is is you take your level 30 legendary uh rude your skill right whatever your base your your like your, you know whatever skill you play whether it's piercing arrow lightning chain whatever um and then you come down to the list you got a list here right so let's go to uh where is it let's just scroll down to piercing arrow so Here's piercing arrow okay most of you guys uh who've been watching have been copying my build and going piercing arrow <coughs> we have our our piercing arrow candored nine times successfully um so it says well also legendary so um but i got i got bad news for you the awakening for piercing arrow are pretty trash amp against elites jack shot amp per pierce oof uh quick attack that's okay uh preemptive strike that's pretty good um right preemptive strike is good but i mean i don't know guys i think it's almost time to switch to spread shot I think it's almost time to switch the spread shot. Spread shot is going to just do more initial damage, like more impact damage. So the difference between piercing and spread shot is piercing has a really, really high flat. Like it does a lot of damage, but not until the, the bleed is, a, you know, applied. So once the target's bleeding, then you do that. So for crit build, generally, the only thing you're going to be attacking more than once is bosses. Uh, pretty much. And then you're going to be using rapid shot. Uh, if you have a six link rapid shot, you're going to be using that to burn down the bosses and elites. So my goal, if we get everything set up and ready, is to switch from piercing to spread shot and then any of these any any of these awakenings will be fine um literally any of these all these are good but there are some things we're missing we're missing mana storm that's one of the biggest things we're missing is mana storm mana storm is huge damage that we're missing out of our build um so that's one thing we're missing the other thing that i'm considering is my like i said my piercing arrow is nine times handored 
So it has nine candors in it, right? And the other thing I have to do is my spread shot is not legendary yet. It's six linked, but it's not legendary. Now, I do have the money to make it legendary. Um, so I have two choices. I can stay with piercing arrow, which I know is going to fall off and spread shot picks up, right? And that's a gear that's a gear slash level um as well as that one skill rune that I'm missing. So I I'm probably going to go with spread shot, honestly. And then a lot of you are using lightning chain as well. Uh because my alt is going to be using it. And I, I'm assuming you guys use it because it's fun. I use it on my all because it's fun. Now, the lightning chain is pretty good. Uh, the range, not so much. We really don't care about this. Um, the amp is okay. Uh, the range is whatever. We don't really care about the range. But the amp is what we want. <coughs> we care about fine rate. This is really good. 5 to 10. If you can get... You know, even five would be really good. Um, so either one of these is good. Uh, this is the one you ideally would want. Now, people would say you want range, but you don't really need range. Uh, I just, you don't need it. So. Damn, this is huge. I didn't realize how big this was. Yeah, my alt's going lightning chain. So right now he's toxic flame. Um, I do have a six link tox or lightning chain and I believe it's rare So I could make that legendary we could do that. There's a lot of things I could do uh, Awakening is your first real big step um, I I Really really suggest that you make sure that you awaken the skill that you want to use permanently uh, Or at least for you know a month because it's going to take you a while to farm all that gold up to make the awakening, etc. And then, like I said, we're not guaranteed uh, to get the guild um, engraving stone. Like, we, we don't know if we're going to get that. So, save your money uh, and really consider what ability you want to awaken, right? Because it's one out of three ch uh, chance that you get the one you want. And unless you get lucky and get an engraving out of a chaos dungeon, like it says here, uh, it says here, the seal of engraving. Now, I, I think they just forgot to add it in the patch notes because it's in the Korean server. So why wouldn't they give us the seal of engraving and guild, right? Like that's, yeah, you know, anyway, so uh, what I'm saying is you can either use your gold right farm a lot of gold and use gold and um make level 30 skill runes right and then you disassemble a level 30 skill rune and you get two to three pieces of a legendary essence and you do that until you have 10 pieces <coughs> and then you combine 10 pieces to make one essence and then you can make um a rare skill into a legendary skill and then you essentially disassemble the legendary skill and then you get the engraving essence that's the way um it's explained here right so if you want a skill awakening you need to do legendary skill rune right if you want the link you need to do link so make sure you do the right one. Most of you should be doing skill, right? You shouldn't be awakening your link before your skill, in my opinion. Um, so make sure you have your skill thought about. Make sure you think about what skill you want to eng engrave, right? And then start working towards en getting it engraved. Um, now, it's you know, it's up to you, but I'm telling you, like, if you're following my build... You really should consider about switching to spread shot from piercing arrow um 
Now, I'll probably make another video just about the change and why it's better, etc. But essentially, Spreadshot, it just does a more initial damage. Like, when you're clearing a map and you fire a volley into a pack, like, you want that whole pack to die as soon as, like, you know, when you fire. You don't want to fire two to three times uh, and then the pack dies because you had to apply bleed to get the extra bit of damage to do the full amount of damage. Um, the one thing that you do need on spread shot though, which is actually is a uh, preemptive uh, strike, right? You need this preemptive strike. And that essentially gives you um, damage amp at full HP, right? If you put it on spread shot. And then the awakening for spread shot, I would probably get. This one's probably going to be the best one. Some. Now, if you have insane godlike over the top gear, the attack speed might be better because then you can put an amp, another amp rune. Um, but we're not, we're nowhere near that point of the game at all. Nowhere even close to that point. So right now, for our stage of the game, I'm, to my understanding, the additional amp per projectile should give us more DPS over the attack speed even though on the on the tool tip attack speed will will give more damage the amp is actually going to show more damage if that makes sense so like tool tip damage is irrelevant it's all about what you actually do for damage so yeah so i'm not going to go over all the awakenings there's so many of them and there's also skills that don't have awakenings so you definitely want to look through the list i'll put this link in the description below but um you want to look through the list and make sure that your skill can even be awakened and then secondly you want to make sure that that's the skill that you want to focus on getting progressed and leveled up and awakened and you just you, you absolutely want to be sure because even for me who plays the game a lot like this is a big step like this is a lot of time a lot of investment a lot of gold a lot of gold millions and millions and millions and millions of gold so you want to be absolutely sure before you tap these things um when you're making a legendary skill rune uh, to disassemble you, it doesn't matter you can just make one and disassemble it, it doesn't it, it, it doesn't matter which one it is um so yeah uh and you don't lose the one you awaken you keep you keep you keep the skill that you're awakening and you can reawaken so like you can awaken and like let's let's say you awaken frost wave and you get like strike range count and you're like oh that's trash i want a damage amp you can re-roll with another awakening and get this um or this or this you, it's just rng at that point unless you use the seal of, of engraving and then you can just pick which one you want so yeah hopefully they sell the seals in the in the guild shop uh if they don't well whatever but yeah so that's pretty much the update now if you scroll down there's an event that's starting it's the black friday event all the way down at the bottom here <clears throat> oh yeah um we also get to uh i already mentioned this but the, these are huge like the, these items are going to be huge you get these from the descent raid uh descent raids um no the, the okay so you're gonna get link stone engraving pieces as well okay so they add Okay, so we're also going to get pieces to drop. So it might not be that bad to actually get the seals. I don't know, maybe. I don't we we don't know the drop rates, so we don't know. Uh and then they're adding unique runestones. 
uh increases level of equipped skill decreases okay so obviously most people are going to be taking the skill rune level uh obviously here's the new costume for you whales all you whales out there new costumes uh this is the one i would buy immediately like this right here um i don't know if you've guys seen if you've had like it look this movie up on google if you're over 18 it's called tusk this reminds me of tusk uh yeah yeah, yeah. we don't i don't care about any of this so yeah they gave us some uh footprints Uh, I like the flame, the lot, the yeah, the lava, that that's gonna win it for me. Sage is probably the worst. Nah, frost is the worst because then you always think you're slowed. So yeah, here's the event I was just mentioning, the Black Friday event. Um, so they're having two different events, right? Um, Black Friday Fiesta. I have no like cool. Um, this is huge. You get ore numerous it says numerous or that that sounds really good as well as guild tokens so like right now the way i do my guild tokens is i make sure my main has full donation a day which is like 14 or 15 16 guild token thingies um <clears throat> and then i feed my ult whatever is left over goes into him and he puts it in um i try to get my second ult uh up um there'll probably be a day where i prioritize it depends i probably won't actually i want my main my main needs to get to grade like nine or ten i, I can't remember but he, need, he needs to go up so every day i donate on him uh now you whales can donate rubies and speed that process up by a lot but we're not doing that because we're not whales uh, i do sell a lot on the auction house but not for that reason i sell to pay for my pet So, we're getting two events. Um, if you look here, during the event, there's discounts. Um, so, the ore shop, there's going to be discounts. I'm not sure what they're going to be, but that's huge. Like, we have, to, we have to definitely look at that as soon as we log in. Um, and then, Peddler. Peddler has some uh, guild shop discounts. So, we got to look. We immediately have to look at this, okay? Um, if you need gold, you can go to the guild shop and buy the accessory, um, boxes and you can get, uh, accessory that gives you gold chance gain and gold chance amount. Um, if you need gold to make like a really basic gold farm set, uh, I suggest you try to get the uniques, but good luck. Uh, there's like a, a ring and a necklace. That are huge for gold fine. I'm not even gonna mention the belt because like nobody has it. Right? Except whales. A couple of whales bought it for like three, four K or something. But yeah, aside from them. Anyways, get your gold up. Uh get over to these shops, the ore shop and the guild shop. I'm I dude, the discounts, they could be huge. Like what if they make births like from 75 each to like 20 each that's huge that's a, that, i don't think you guys realize how big that is so yeah we gotta check out those uh discounts uh all right so yeah the discounted prices are only av available during an event uh cool uh here's some new packages you whales can buy uh some new weekly bundles for you whales New Void Rift season, guys. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to clear the Unstable Sephira or whatever her name is, and Akali or whatever. The Dragon and the uh, DPS check. On the last, it was the last Void Rift boss that awarded two Candor Essence as well as the Legendary Essence. I, we couldn't clear that. I just... <clears throat> I couldn't do it. Gave up. So... New season of Void Rift. Make sure you guys get that up. Uh, get your juice. Um, here's some balances. Now, it's unfortunate that we missed this. 
because there are one or two whales that do have this, and it looks like they're keeping it. Uh, yeah, existing options will remain unchanged. So it looks like any whale that whaled their way into this damage amp charm before it was nerfed gets to keep it. So good for you. Good, good, good bye. Good job. Uh, oh, okay. Whatever. Okay, storage. Storage slots for runestone essences, rune engravings, and seals will be added. Is that going to be free? If that's free, that's cool. If not, I don't want it. Uh, okay, more whale stuff here. Uh, bug fixes. Yep. And that's pretty much it. So, what I'm saying is get yourself some gold find, gold chance, and gold amount gear. Start farming your gold uh, if you haven't already. If if you have been, if you got, you know, five, six, seven, eight, ten million gold, great. You're already ahead of the curve. Uh, but you're gonna need more gold, um, especially if they don't add the guild shop. If they don't add the seal of engraving to guild shop, then we're gonna need a ton of gold. So guys, this this just farm gold. Do your descent raids, get your alts up, get more gold on your alts. Uh, you get a lot of juice from getting your alts up. Uh, even to level 60, 65, you can get a lot of juice. Uh, also, uh, yeah, so, yeah, just get your gold up. That's it. That's pretty much, that's it. And then make sure you're, you don't awaken a skill that doesn't have an awakening, because that would really suck. So, make sure you look into your skill. But yeah, I'll be streaming uh, later tonight um, after the patch, and then I'll put the link in the description below. And uh, yeah, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel, uh, hit that like button, etc. If you got any questions or concerns, leave them in the comments below. But yeah, I'll catch you guys either on the live stream uh, tonight or you know the next uh, YouTube video. All right, later.